Nice. This should be kicking in. Let's check it out. Nice. We are live on Twitch and uh, on Rumble, not yet. And one thing I realized uh, I noticed on Rumble um, while we're live streaming, hi everyone, by the way, uh, is if there is a delay in the the live stream kicking in, uh, it's also a delay in uh, for when it's recorded, when it goes live. So before I give you the lowdown of what we're doing, Elder God, how are you doing? First man in, <laughs> nice. I loaded on a new uh, video for Sal and V on the catio, just chilling. A little bit longer one uh, where they were bird watching. I posted in our gilded uh, today. I really like it. They're, they, they're like synced. Uh, I posted it in gilded. Bang bros, users, salutations. Jalen has entered the chat. Salutations, Jalen. I got to get used to your new name. I got to get used to your new name. Uh, the Rumble uh, live stream hasn't kicked in yet. Uh, we'll see. I might. Um, well, no, they get the views. So uh, we'll see if it kicks in or not. A notification goes out to. Uh, there it is. There's Rumble. And it kicked in when I posted the Guild of Things. So the first couple of minutes wasn't on there. Sometimes it kicks in faster than others. Uh, but cool. We're live on both platforms hello hello everyone i hope you're doing well plutonic plurus are we doing private private yet privyet privyet elder god salute tier one sub subscribe for 19 months in a row i gotta pour myself a drink i'll do it with tea right now brother salute salute um let me set up the chat for the rumble as well <laughs> nice chill cooking live stream i love it i love it uh tea is acceptable acceptable tea is acceptable yeah i'm gonna slowly gonna uh phase out uh, uh drinking and just get into matcha mate tea um coffee with oat milk that's what i had today uh this morning it was really nice uh and just warm drinks we get into the fall and winter so just warm up from the inside, right? Maybe a little cognac, because cognac warms us up. Uh, did you say matcha? Matcha. Yeah, indeed. Indeed. I love matcha. But the one my my partner makes. I don't. Uh, uh, I don't. I don't make uh, ma uh, matcha or mate. I make coffee and tea. I gotta learn how to do those. <laughs> but she's really good at them, so I leave it up to her. And uh, salutations, again. <laughs> My bro says I love matcha. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Me too. Oh my god. As Arnie says, uh in raw deal, you should not drink and bake. You should not drink and bake. Really? Is that true? I like drinking and baking. <laughs> Hypno fifteen salutations. I love these cooking streams. Me too. I get a major product out of it. And we get auction auction stuff. Uh, gang, uh, welcome to our live stream. I'm Chicho. This is uh, today. Today is September 18th, 2023. And we're doing a cooking live stream. We're going to make some Cornelian cherry jam. Went picking a couple of days ago. Whoop. <laughs> There's water. I got to hold on. I gave these guys a little, little, little wash, right? So I'm gonna tilt it this way, and it's got holes in it. So there's a little water on the settle down, right? It's really good, Cornelian cherries. We're gonna go picking again uh, this week as well. But for these ones, I decided to do uh, to do a jam. Um, so we're gonna put these in the pot. Let me get rid of the seed. And we're not going to mill the seeds. We're going to do it with the seeds, okay? And we're going to have, uh, you know, product we get. We are definitely going to put on a live stream. So whoever wins these, be careful. They're seeds. <laughs> Lark Bark, how are you doing? Uh, Cornelian Cherry Jam. And gang, uh, before we get into it, I'm going to do a quick intro. Uh, ba -ba -bee -bee -boop -boop. Uh, 
We're on Patreon, Substack, Subscribe Star. Plutonic Pluris, salutations, salutations. And welcome as a new mod to your first official mod live stream. <laughs> Lord, Lord, and hello everyone. Hello, hello. Uh, we're on Patreon, Substack, Subscribe Star, uh, gang. For those of you who are supporting this work on those platforms, uh, on Twitch, through the video sharing platforms that are active in our community on Gilded, that are following our uh, the audio that we load up for some of the podcasts, some of the live streams of podcasts. Uh, for those of you that are following us, Twitter, Minds, VK, Gab getter and substack notes thank you for the support gang i hope i hope you're enjoying the content and uh, enjoying this amazing ride that we are on ups and downs salute salute <laughs> nice i am rsgt4 good evening and salutations uh squirrel hope squire squire <laughs> hope your uh lovely garden is still in fine fettle it is indeed it is indeed check this out check this out oh let me take these guys down i had a couple of huge green onions that were growing that i took down today i'm going to show you that check this out I let them grow really tall, <laughs> really big, <laughs> right? <laughs> nice green onions, nice green onions, right? Uh, the roots I just washed in, you know, I'm going to keep them on until I'm ready. I give it a nice little rinse, right? Nice green onions. Okay. So this is, this would be amazing cuckoo, which I'm most likely going to make either today or tomorrow, most likely tomorrow. Okay. Uh, and we've gone picking. Uh, Asian pears, uh, pears, amazing Asian pears uh, from our from a neighbor, uh, a couple of a few blocks away from us. Uh, Mick ninety six, how are you doing? Salutations, salutations. Finish, dude. Salute, salute. Twenty minutes ago, I saw the largest northern lights. Like, oh my god, oh really? Just straight up or spiral? I see spiral live. I I've never seen. Uh, like the cloud uh like just regular northern northern lights it, it's crazy this should be amazing uh, because we won't understand there's a serious solar activity going on i am rsgt beautiful love to eat those with crispy oh duck and hot hot sin sauce <laughs> nice crispy duck i haven't had crispy duck forever i need to get uh go munch on some crispy duck uh gang let's throw the cornelian chairs in here i put just a handful aside uh just for munching they're really good like medicine medicine persians kill for this like literally kill for this right <laughs> uh but we're gonna go picking again this week so i'm gonna make all of this really just uh jam so let me turn on the camera as well so you see the goodies going in boink boink and the odds are we're just going to use one camera we're not going to use the other one there okay i just gave him a little rinse this morning okay it's it's half a pot not much right not much uh what is it damn spelling check hoi hoisin 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 i don't know which one hoisin is uh hudson sauce sounds better actually <laughs> hudson sauce right Hoys hoisin sauce i don't know what hoisin sauce is uh i was watching that guy for six <laughs> oh my god the guy from yesterday for six hours yesterday funny yeah as soon as we got in he he's he he would be an amazing uh sort of sit down at a uh, izakaya japanese restaurant uh tapa restaurant and just drink shuju and beer and munch on food uh, it would be an amazing night <laughs> uh, 
let's just give that just a simple rinse it's not dirty uh post some pictures in gilded finish dude nice yeah 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 Pist uh post it for us for sure here's the gilded server i'm pretty sure you're there all right uh that way i might uh try it out i might try it out Ho hoisin sauce is a thick fragrant sauce commonly used in cantonese cuisine as a glaze for meat is that the dark one uh, but no that's plum sauce in addition to stir fry or as dipping sauce it is dark colored in appearance and sweet and salty and taste. oh it's the same one i'm thinking about although regional variants exist hoisin sauce usually includes soybeans fennel red chili peppers oh maybe not and garlic ginger uh five spice powder and sugar are also commonly added okay cool 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 he finished in a chinese restaurant eating spicy pork Ooh, oh spicy pork in a chinese restaurant he was eating like the whole stream gang we're putting this on uh i'm gonna put it on oh, where's my guilt let's turn this off i'm gonna put it on six i'm gonna kick it off fast we're gonna add sugar lemon juice close the lid let it curcle right back to business let's do it i am it's usually eaten with duck sliced spring onions spring rolls as well right cucumber and rolled up in a fine pancake oh okay i know the one you're talking about over here in uk it is anyway okay 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 i think i i know you do it's uh yeah it's like the plum sauce uh, i think it's the same sauce maybe mine is not a plum sauce it's the whole hosting sauce uh we're gonna put one cup of sugar okay one cup one cup one large cup so this is one and a quarter cup and let's do a little bit more so i'm gonna put one and a half in this okay it is tart uh, and i'm picking uh, deciding to make it a little bit on the sweeter size because this is going to be more of a, a just nibbling on uh jam right because it's got the seeds you take a little bit put it on a little plate beside you when you're drinking tea or drinking coffee or anything like this and then you eat the jam with a spoon and sip the tea it's very persian style of doing it okay so and it comes up it's amazing it's amazing and we're gonna do the lemon um, lemon as well make I was just uh, reading an old story about a 70 year old man from the UK that grew a massive 39 kilogram rutabaga wow, wow and then got a call from Snoop Dogg who flew him out to the US to learn how he did it hilarious oh Snoop Dogg was smoking a little bit too much then maybe maybe he wasn't that's exactly what you should do oh god he uh, committed to traveling to a, a petting farm oh yeah there's a little bit of water spilled on here we'll let it evaporate uh, he committed to traveling to a petting farm 20 bus ride and a 50 minute walk then drove around the cart on the farm so no way he was saying someone donate 20 bucks and he go and he did it awesome i had an idea of <laughs> cheat your life on a day out. yeah for sure i need to get uh what do you call it a mobile uh, data we could do a walk and go math make math videos find a wall and do a math video creating math videos in real time urban style deep flake how are you doing posted in nature awesome finish dude thank you i'm just gonna put uh, one lemon in this okay that would have been amazing eh just walk around find walls and then set everything up and do a math video sometimes i take do those math videos i was doing two or three takes a couple of times i did the takes and i forgot to turn on the camera <laughs> to do it again 
find a new wall. Chaos. Chaos. And many of them were 420 math videos. Math graffiti uh, or mathematics in a social environment. Mathematics in a social environment. Mathematics in a social environment. Let this water evaporate. Okay, good. Sorry to curve it. I'm gonna add a little bit of water so that we don't burn the bottom. And I'm kicking it down to a four. Okay. Yeah, I don't wanna burn it. We did do a burn once and it was like, oh, what a pain. Chicho, have you ever had any kind of marmalade, the uh, Bang Bros? Yeah, 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 for sure. For sure. Uh, we've done family we've made uh, mint marmalade and rosemary uh, marmalade a uh, marmalade is just very thick uh, jam as far as I'm concerned like that's what I think it is anyway and then there's orange marmalade we had orange peel uh, aside from that I just had it uh, outside of home Oh the guy, the guy just used a mobile phone with battery pack and stick. I want to try that here. Yeah, but you need data, major data. In Canada anyway, Canada is insane. Like we're, we're a complete monopoly in terms of uh, internet and phones. So we pay insane amounts. I think we're the highest in the Western world for uh, the cost of internet and uh, data, phone data. Maybe it's super fun though. Battery pack on a phone and off you go. Deflect, I thought you said map. Like a hiking video with orienteering. Oh, math. No, math. Math, but we could do map too. They've got lots of amazing hiking trails and where I am. Nice lemon. Put that baby in there. I'm gonna give it a stir. Make sure the bottom is not sticking. Nice. Get the steam already coming out. Right. There was a time where um, we found five trees of cornelian cherries in Vancouver with the family. And we went and got like a ton. And me and my mom were making cornelian cherry jam for, for like, until the wee hours of the morning we were making it. Like we had four of these big pots going. We did two and then we did two. It was amazing. And we seeded them all and milled them all. Put that there. Let me move this guy. Nice. I'm going to kick up the temperature on the water. And we've got the lids going here the same way we do before. I have unlimited data plan. 12 pounds a month? <laughs> no. That's, that doesn't work the same way in Canada. In Canada, I, unlimited? I don't know. It's sent it out. It's... Unlimited would be over a hundred in Canada, right? I get that vibe when I see uh, you make the stuff. What vibe is that? Oh, the marmalade. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bang Bros. It's it's this is the same thing we do with marmalade. We use pectin, right? The pectin powder. Um. But um, I haven't done for, for, I don't think we've used pectin for close to 15 years. We used to use it. And the reason we stopped using pectin, by the way, uh, when making jam was because uh, there was one year with the family, we came out with the logo or my friend came out with the logo, we came out with the name, we created product and went to a farmer's market and we're testing out different products to see 
what people wanted. And at the same time, we made rosemary and mint uh, marmalade or sauce jam milled with pectin and we gave it to Whole Foods, right? To see if they wanted to carry it, okay? And two different departments said they'd want to carry it, okay, if we could make it without pectin because they couldn't, uh, they, they weren't allowed to carry any products with pectin in it. And they told us that we would be insane not to have this product, not to work on this product, to have it on the market because they thought it would fly off the shelves, right? So back then, I, we started working with different types of recipes, try to remove the pectin, right? Not include the pectin. It's very difficult to do if you want to make marmalade thick, right? Uh, because pectin makes it really thick. Uh, you would have to reduce it big time. So it was taking a lot of work and family went in different directions and whatnot. Um, phenomenal product, phenomenal product. Uh, maybe one day we do. Maybe with the uh, uh, Chicho, Chicho cooking, uh, cooking uh, book and video we do uh, together and I'll put it all together. Uh, right? We see Ronnie, how are you doing? Salutations. Alfida, how are you doing? Oh, I gotta bring up the Rumble Chat gang. I keep on forgetting about the Rumble Chat. There it is. Okay, I'm gonna do a little test. That, that tour. Agar agar is a good uh, commercial substitute for pectin. Agar agar. I don't know what agar agar is. What's agar agar? Is a good commercial substitute for pectin. Agar agar. I'm gonna write this down. Where's my stickies? There we go. Agar agar for pectin. Let's check this out. Thank you. I'll, I'll take a look at this. It's a plant based. A gelat gelatin, okay. Agar. I wouldn't mind experimenting with this. Uh, substitutes for pectin. Pectin. Dadur. Dat. Dur. <laughs> nice name. <laughs> nice. Good, good, good. Excellent. I love having a little notepad beside me. Okay, now that we've got the liquid going, I'm going to kick up the temperature a little bit back to where it was. I had it at around seven and then I kicked it down to four. Now I'm kicking it back up to seven because we want to get it kirkling, right? I want to get it going. And uh, I'm going to pour myself a drink. And what do we got? I'm gonna give you guys a tally. We got four people on Rumble. Salute to Rumble. Salutations, gang. And we got 31 people on Twitch. Salute, gang. Twitch, how are you guys doing? <laughs> Let's see if we can do the tallies uh, on a constant basis to see where we go with this. Uh, fun. And then we'll see when we add different types of live streams and whatnot, right? Um, aside from that, I'm gonna pour some of the watermelon liqueur we made uh, I got a feeling this isn't gonna blend as nicely as some of the other fruits the flavor hasn't really changed since we made it right and feed the salutations die hards die hards die hards on twitch <laughs> is that what it is Cheryl how are you doing salutations salutations Cheryl this is what we got cornelian cherries cornelian cherries just a half a pot went picking a couple of days ago no, two days ago, three days ago, maybe three days ago. I put uh, I put shot glass with uh, ice in the fridge because I like this thing cold. But it's not my favorite. And what I'm going to do is finish this off, okay, and then get rid of these guys. The the watermelon, it's not bad. I gave him to my partner. She wasn't too fond of it. And then we had this guy here, All right? The main watermelon one. I haven't tasted from here yet. I'm gonna taste from here, but I'm gonna keep this one. If I, if the flavor is not to my liking, I'm gonna keep it and let it, you know, do its thing and taste it on a regular basis to see how long it takes 
for the flavor to completely sort of meld with the vodka so you can't taste the vodka with this right now you can definitely taste the vodka salute gang The, the blend is not as nice. There's a little bit of punginess to it, okay? Which is okay, I don't mind it. Uh, it's an acquired taste, it's an acquired taste. I gotta remember to tell that to Nicholas. Uh, so, but it's refreshing, it is refreshing, that's for sure. Birdie here, what is the mix? Just vodka and add fruit, sugar, and leave it. Yeah, that's it, Birdie, yeah. Cut up whatever fruit you want and uh, add sugar and then vodka. Give it a shake, let it all dissolve. And you can see this is all dissolved, right? There's no sugar in the bottom. It's all dissolved, right? Uh, so, and then uh, let it sit. Uh, strawberry, for example, doesn't take long for the flavor, just to completely meld in with the vodka. And it's beautiful liqueur. Within two to three weeks, it's phenomenal it gets better and better uh, some other fruits uh, take longer take maybe three months four months okay the watermelon is quick the watermelon is quick the flavor gets in there but i don't know if it's gonna be, uh, you know sort of become like a pure uh, liqueur and in, in my regard anyway the way i look at it I uh, got Freedom Mobile looks the cheapest in Canada. How much is it unlimited? Right now, we were going through an internet provider where I got no data and I didn't want data. And my cell phone was free with unlimited text in Canada, right? But the reason it was free like the coverage was free was because we were getting internet through this isp right but what just recently happened like canada is a complete monopoly in terms of internet like monopolies control canada right it's a clown show and another isp provider the other big isp provider bought out this one and I got a message from this isp saying i have to renegotiate my contract and stuff like this so i'm gonna have to start paying for a cell phone that I barely use, like just tax, it's crazy. I know people in Canada that are paying like $120, $130, $150 a month for their cell phones, right? Hazard, it's HD TV. Cheers to you. You inspire me to make some of my own liqueurs in November 2021, and they've been such a treat to have once in a while. Yeah, fantastic. Salute, salute. Hazardous. It's amazing treat, no? Super, and you offer it to people that come to your house as guests. They're like, wow. And then they want to come more often. Salute to the liqueur makers out there. FS, FSX Swimmer. Thank you very much for the tier one sub. Salute, salute, salute. They've subscribed for 24 months straight. Or 24 months salute thank you two years to Shonian, but it could be longer because maybe they missed a month and then the tier one sub doesn't say it's not 24 months in a row right which is weird the data from centralized power is crazy crazy good afternoon chicho random moose brain salutations how are you doing how are you doing um uh, a birdie here uh is there a risk that the alcohol percent goes up no i think the alcohol if anything would go down a little bit and we do eat the fruit we do eat the fruit and we eat the fruit as we're going i'm not going to eat the watermelon i'm just not into it right now i could taste it here let's taste one here let's take one out of here um yeah. Let's take one out of this. Okay. Nice. Let me give this one another stir and then we'll take one of the watermelons out of this and have it, have a taste of it. My guess is it's gonna be very vodka flavor, very strong. Nice. 
We need to curl, curl. Oh, squishy. Yeah, I got a feeling what we have to do with watermelon is uh, once the flavor settled in, drain the liquid out and just have a bottle of watermelon liqueur without the fruit because all the other fruits I keep in there. Very strong. Really strong really strong again this is only like a week old right or a week and a half old or something so it hasn't had time to settle right but nicholas mentioned that within a couple of weeks two or three weeks i think he drained the, drained out the liquid and just kept the kept the liqueur the liquid and the fruit he ditched if i'm not mistaken if I'm not mistaken lonely piggy salutations yo yo hope everyone's doing good as always salute salute sometimes Mike how are you doing hello sir how are you doing today doing good drinking some watermelon liqueur refreshing the all love how are you doing evening you all oh <laughs> what the hell is that <laughs> why is it in the joy? it's a uh, watermelon liqueur we made like a couple of weeks ago or a week ago let's say right it's homemade yeah 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 nice and we're gonna keep the seeds in uh, when we're jarring the stuff I'm not gonna do any milling on this okay it's a delicacy this uh, this jam Alga Chicho I recommend a location where Wi-Fi is available. <laughs> oh yeah, through the phone. That's right. Hook it up. Oh, that's right. But then what would their speed be? Right? It's crazy. Like in Canada, <laughs> the the internet uh like the speeds improved sure you can download faster but the but the internet service that Canadians uh, are offered is not much greater than what it was 25 years ago 23 years ago it's more expensive let more hassle they track you you have to use VPN uh, in Canada certain sites are banned you have to go through VPN you don't have access to the world right it's country specific so internet quality in Canada has deteriorated so much in the last 25 years the only thing they've offered the only thing they've offered is higher speed it's not higher access it's not more privacy it's it, it it's it's nothing else it's just more expensive and it isn't more expensive. yes it is more expensive or the same price without anything else right and they haven't really rolled out high-speed internet they got a lot of money from the government to roll out high-speed internet to remote areas and they haven't right and it's being monopolized 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 it's crazy Ch -ch 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 -ch. suit from watermelon it's uh in the watermelon liqueurs uh in all my in all the liqueurs is the fruit sugar vodka i have one little jar with gin but it's usually vodka right lonely piggy i use videotron here in quebec uh, prop, uh property of a local billionaire okay of course and aside from upping the price they don't up much of anything else yeah it's crazy elder guy yes the package offer uh super speed for first uh 250 gigabytes cool 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 
that tour your video is so fucking soothing i'm having trouble focusing on anything you're saying is making me sleepy <laughs> awesome good <laughs> cooking kitchen food conversation good conversation should be nice and relaxing Look at this. Look at this goodness. Yeah. This needs to break down a lot more, so we're just gonna let it do its thing. Come on. We got a little bit of hold on. Let's do this. I wanna get this skin in there. I'll try to keep the kitchen noise levels down. You need to investigate more. Yeah, let me know. Let me know. I gotta find out if I can. If they, if these guys have to have to honor the contracts I've had, the service I've had with the other, the ISP they bought, I'm just gonna stick with free because I don't want to give them anything, right? Free, just text, and I barely use the stuff. But if we're gonna live stream walking around, it'll have to be done, I guess maybe for next summer right plutonic polaris on rumble <laughs> hello watchers on rumble hello watchers on rumble i hope you're doing fantastic salute to free speech platforms salute to free speech platforms let's do a tally let's do a tally what do we got we got 28 people on twitch and we got six people on rumble salute salute <laughs> awesome Fun. I made myself uh, had some egg earlier and these are these are the Asian pears that we picked from the neighbor check this out I'm not streaming on sensor too I decided a while ago pretty here that even 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 if it's sensor too friendly which this is i don't want to give them the live streams i really don't it's just and there would be a lot on sensor too i'm assuming because we got 33 33,000 almost 34,000 followers there but we're shadow banned there too that's <laughs> kitty cat sneezing those asian pears uh Pears are the best. So sweet, so sweet. Check this out, check this out. Like we went picking from neighbor's house, right? Uh, this is what I got in the fridge so it doesn't go bad we've already been eating for like three days so good so good so just picked it uh, from the neighbors I asked them if it was okay I said yeah 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 by all means they got a bumper harvest so went picking Asian pears uh, fantastic they're these are so much better than any Asian pears bought in the store like crazy sweet crazy sweet Picked a lot of fruit in the last little while. Picked a lot of fruit in the last couple of months. It's fantastic. It's really good. Yeah, bigger than apples. They're sort of. Um, they could be the same size as apples, really. Baby night salute. You would just risk getting your channel banned and videos deleted on censorship. I think so too. And I don't feel like dealing with uh, the element there. <laughs> Look at that phone kicking up. Kirkle, Kirkle. Let's see. Okay, we're going to kick this down, gang. I'm going to move this off a little bit. 
the bottom's getting a little sticky. Take a look. Oh, you can't see it. See that? Getting a little dark. We don't want to burn it because it's a pain in the rear end, right? So I'm moving it off. I'm just going to hit the bottom, right? There's a little bit of stickiness there, right? Plutonic plur, some rumble, salute to free speech and cooking, indeed. Indeed. Plutonic plur, maybe also to make a, an intro on sensor tube and then leave uh, for free speech password like Viva does. Yeah, I thought about that too. I don't know. Should we? I mean, I'm using it. Basically, we we'll be using it to promote uh, other channels, which I am now, really, right? Okay, the snickiness is gone. We'll see. We we'll see. I'm not in a hurry to live stream. There, really, tell you the truth. Ronnie, I'm giving my notice at work tomorrow. Woo! You got something else lined up? Or you're up. That's it. Barf bag, salutations. Chicho, it's National Cheeseburger Day in America, is it? I need to. Oh, I got hamburgers in the freezer. Maybe I'll bring them out and. I gotta go get some cheese, though. We're out of cheese. Oh my god, you want some cheese? Okay, the stickiness is gone from the bottom. Oh, look at it curkle away. Let it curkle. I'm gonna put the lid on it. I got a new job. You got a new job. Nice. Like 50% increase is Sally. Nice. Too good to pass up. Awesome. That's good. Fantastic. They should they should pay you, right? Living wage, if not more, right? It shouldn't just be a living wage, tell the truth. Lonely piggy, I want apple picking over the weekend. It's crazy how prices uh, per bag have gone up yeah we used to go uh, really uh, really often when I was younger I get I get now why people don't do it as much uh, picking apples or buying apples Ronnie how do you I feel not guilty uh, I always feel a bit bad when leaving an employer no you, you shouldn't feel bad why would you feel bad Yeah, the only thing is right. It depends on your relationship with the employer. Yeah. First time chat. Nuking TV dinner is my thing. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Cook food. Loser and trolls united. <laughs> Salute. Don't do it. Cook food. Seriously. You live a longer, happier life. You save money. Like it's win all around meditative it's sexy as fuck right you 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 feel like going on a date with someone don't say we'll go to a movie we'll go well you can go to a movie go to a coffee shop and stuff okay sure first date you guys don't know each other but if you want to seal the deal you know how to cook you invite them home and you say let me cook you a meal and give you a little bit of the cure right it's done like it literally is done that's it that's all you got to do right you got to smile a little bit be charming right and put a put a tv dv nuking dinner on in front of them <laughs> i'm not sure what type of uh uh you know might not be the best uh quality of food or partner <laughs> no offense loser Now they got. I was streaming opening on Sensor 2. Would you? Okay, okay. Hostile Legion on Rumble goes in. Jesus, that. <laughs> do do an opening on Sensor 2. Okay, maybe, maybe we will talk about it. Let me, let me, let let me just think about it for a bit. If we want to take that plunge, right? Yeah, it would be good. It would be cool. The only picky. Well, both you pick the apples with the bags you paid for 
Oh, is that what they do? You pick apples. Oh, I go when I go apple picking, I'm going apple picking in parks, neighbors' homes. I'm not the only thing I'm paying is my time, and I love it. So it's something that I love doing, but I, I don't. Uh, I don't go to a farm to pick apples to buy. All right? We've done strawberries before. You pick, but never apples. Apples are so abundant right now; they're amazing. So many apple trees in my area. The only picking I'm in a situation like that, but I keep that job on the side because co-workers are like family now okay you could uh moonlight or do part-time at both jobs only piggy no offense <laughs> that's his name though <laughs> ronnie how rushy i keep keep on both sides oh, funny funny oh my god you speak the words may as well finish out uh some new followers on um uh, fish out some new followers on sensors i found you there indeed okay man okay 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 i'll work on it i'll work on um i'll look into it i'll look into it we need to harvest some of this foam we got to get some of this foam out of here okay because this foam looks amazing and i'm gonna do it uh, i'm gonna do it in a small plate let's do it in, in this Let's get some uh, some of this foam out of this because this foam looks fantastical. Actually, let's use yeah, this one. A big spoon. Let's get some of this foam out. pop this right away in the freezer this guy I'm gonna put this in the freezer for now let's give it a little swirl make sure nothing's sticking in the bottom nice gonna taste it mm. oh so tangy so tangy really yummy really tangy mm. I might add a little bit more sugar to this you can take it you can take it Allah God for extra incentive. Imagine an Allah God who didn't find Chicho and is right now on the alternative timeline <laughs> reading The Guardian Ay, whilst following liberals on Twitter. Oh no! <laughs> We're coming. We're coming, Sensor 2. Okay, we do. We do. I got to look into. Because um, we're. Yeah, so I got to check the bandwidth might have to use a website but maybe we just do it straight up to sensor tube um just the intro it would be fun just to fuck with it eh? <laughs> ronnie chicho i decided to learn spanish nice what do you think about the importance of learning new languages extremely important extremely important that's the way i teach my my students uh, with math i tell them you're learning a language pay attention right yeah yeah learning another language is another perspective on a certain topic another perspective on life really right 
it's amazing it expands your your horizons I'm gonna harvest more 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 full let's harvest a little bit more full put it on the other side before we give it a stir sticking in the bottom imagine <laughs> who said that who thought of Flores? imagine being an npc imagine realizing you're an npc <gasps> because npcs i don't think they realize they're npcs but just imagine when you realize you're an npc what do you do i'm pretty sure there's been movies made out of that Clowny, haha. What are you doing, Chicho? I just smoked uh, an indica cannabis and I am a uh, natural anxiety person. Natural anxiety person with chemical imbalances. I was anxious and time was going by so slowly. But I find right now that texting and watching your stream is helping. I haven't smoked since 2009. Wow, wow. Almost 15 years, eh? That's a long time. Strong, strong. Your cooking stream is always relaxing. Favorite ASMR. Awesome, awesome. Salute, brother. Salute. Or sister, of course. Right? I have uh, tooth and nerve pain. Oh, no. And I was trying to not use uh, Tylenol or Gen Genexa. I don't know Genexa. I find Tylenol could be seriously heavy. Frosty Pints, how are you doing? What's good? Cornelian cherries. And you know what? Uh, watermelon liqueur growing on me. <laughs> All liqueurs too, I guess. <laughs> Let's pour ourselves a little bit more. Salute. dancing visual how are you doing salutations salutations that looks way better than the home brand cherry jam i had for breakfast home brand i don't know what home brand is uh clowny my root canal will take a week oh no so i got uh cbd oil but they gave me a free joint i smoked uh, by myself nice Oh man, root canal. Oof. Connie, any advice? My brother says just chill, watch a movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. I, I had a friend that was years ago. He got a root canal. They gave him a whole bottle of uh, T3s, time all threes. And they said, okay, this is for like 10 days or a week or something like that. He fucking took three quarters of the bottle the first day. He was in that much pain. This was at a time where. Uh, drugs were plentiful and uh, people were very sensitive right? it was too much it was too much it was too much shirtless shirtless Kyle how are you doing been a while been a while indeed salute salute lonely piggy i don't know if you answered this yet but the watermelon skin liqueur versus watermelon fruit liqueur any difference i haven't drank from the watermelon uh 
regular liqueur. So let's try that. Why not? Let's try it out. Good time to do a live taste test. Because <laughs> this is going to be, it's not going to be an intensely uh, difficult, heavy cooking strain to do. Because we've got half a pot going, we're not going to mill it. It's gonna be nice and chill. This one is a little bit more pungent because of the watermelon skin. That's my guess. So, this one smells fresher, crisper. better forget the skin yeah forget the skin you want to do watermelon liqueur just the watermelons no skin okay thank you for bringing this up lonely picky uh, checking into a doing taste test so if you're gonna make watermelon liqueur gang no skin just do it with the meat of the watermelon okay just do it with the meat Okay. Thank you, Lonely Piggy. Salute. Taste test is where well worth well worth it. But that being said, I gotta finish this. We gotta finish this. Right? M maybe not during this stream, but we gotta finish it. Right. Uh Connie, huh? any advice on reducing my anxious state under the indica plant? Uh time. Time. And breathing breathing is crazy important realizing uh, take Bill Hicks words to heart this is just a ride this is just a ride okay did you notice that it would, the thing was about to go so you gotta watch this thing now I got this thing sitting at 3 out of 10 and it's like crazy crippling right So this thing is getting ready to be dealt with, right? To be jarred. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn on the oven. Again, gang, we got the jars in the oven, right? I'm going to kick this up to 300. The fan's going to kick in. So sorry about the noise. Um, but clowny, time, relaxing, realizing that this is just a ride. Just, and it, realizing that we're here to enjoy the ride uh, learn from the ride test ourselves challenge ourselves uh, all of it is just part of life just appreciate it right appreciate the emotions there are people who don't feel the emotions right i'm opening that up letting it breathe a little bit okay cheryl i had someone describe t3 this way use uh use what use uh, ibuprofen for pain and t3 so you don't care haha -ha. yeah t i've taken t3 once and i didn't do it again it was crazy heavy it, it was and it wasn't too much it was like either half a pill or one pill it, i was oh i did not like the sensation and i've taken lots of many other things heavy dosage i've done many many heroic doses according to terence mckenna t3 did not like did not like pharmaceuticals whatsoever clowning maybe just eat and relax and eat pizza watch your yeah listen to music watch movie don't eat too much though because you might not notice how much you're eating so you might not feel good uh, afterwards okay I'm going to take some of this and put it in a little container because I want to know how the, the feel of it is. I'm going to put a little bit in the freezer, just this much, and then taste it. Okay. 
once it's cooled down. <laughs> super cool, super cool, right? Cornelian cherry jam foam, right? Here, I don't like this showing, so let's turn these off. This would be, you could make some amazing pastries with this. Thing cools down and try the liquid and then add sugar. Hey, whose birthday is it? I missed some chat, gang. Oh, to Elder God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Indeed, indeed. Clowny Chicho, thank you. I feel mellow. I find reading is enjoyable. Yeah, for sure. I never read. Oh, you never read? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, time. If I can get myself under control in this heightened state, then I can control my anxiety when I am not high. I am uh, in this journey. Yeah. And graphic novels, maybe. Right. Comic books. My pleasure, Connie. My pleasure. Our pleasure. A lot of people were commenting too, right? Ronnie, you got your BD recently too. I lost track in chat. Who's BD? Elder God's BD, uh, September 11th. Salute to the BD people. Let's bring this back. Too easy. Too easy to drink. But definitely on the pungent side, though. Right. So watermelon, so far not my favorite. I'm gonna let it sit for a while. Clowny, <laughs> I'm excited for the munchies. Clowny, Chicho, I mainly uh, went to the dispensary for CBD oil. My dentist kind of gave me the boot and said she can't do anything until I got my root canal from the specialist wow crazy I haven't gotten my root canal uh, weeks ago because work was light and I was struggling financially but I told the receptionist that I am in pain and Medicaid yeah yeah that she wouldn't give you anything clown world where do you live uh, crowny uh, clowny are you in Canada Canada would do that the dentist basically take Tylenol. Screw that. I, cho I choose to try CBD. Yeah, for sure. Natural. Why not? Cannabis. Oh, San Diego. San Diego, California is pretty liberal with that. So, oh wow. Well. Bang Bros. If Julian Assange is ever set free, I hope he becomes one of your viewers. That would be sick. I would be sick. I would send them jam every month. Julian, what kind of jam you want? I'll make it for you. What kind of liqueur you want? Salute, gang. Do not forget, do not forget. Free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange, the publisher and journalist that has been crucified. 
for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital's power to humanity, something that we desperately need in our societies. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or countless resources available online. And if you want to get an update on Julian Assange, uh, go to our Gilded server. Okay, where am I? Go to our Gilded server. And I just posted an interview of uh, Chris Hedges with. Uh, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, man. Uh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Chris Hedges, and. Uh, oh, I know his name, but. He was there throughout the whole trial. They put him in jail because he was covering it. Uh, da, 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 da. Craig Murray. I can't believe his name skipped my head. Craig Murray. I'll grab you guys the link. Here, I'm going to grab it here. Listen to this interview. It's the most recent uh, bit of information. Oh, come on. It's not grabbing it. It's doing it. Let me do this. Hey. I hope we didn't kill the streams. No, we're still good. There it is. Okay. Okay. I'm going to post this in... Uh, in Twitch chat. This is the most recent info we have on Julian Assange. Chris Hedges interviewing Craig Murray. Okay. Ridiculously important. I'm going to link it up on Rumble as well. Uh, it's a half an hour interview, well worth listening to. Uh, gives you the lowdown of what's going on, what's what this is all about, what certain um, measures we should be taking, and uh, how to deal with the situation that might be coming. Uh, important. One of the the most important things that's happening right now. Curl, curl, stick in a little bit. I'm gonna turn it down. This was on really low, by the way, but it's still sticking, right? So it means we're close to being done. I haven't added the sugar because I wanna taste the uh, liquid that we put in the freezer. I wanna make sure that the sugar is called for. I don't like the jams to be too sweet, and this is tangy, uh, tart, so it should be able to handle it. And it's a delicacy. You don't need too much of this, just a little bit with tea or coffee. With tea is amazing. Again, Persians killed for this. Like, really. If they knew where I lived, the Persians would be knocking down the door and stealing this from us. <laughs> where is the Zohalakhte? Give us the Zohalakhte. That's what they call it. This is Cornelian cherries, but Zohalakhte is the Persian word for it. Where they kidnap me and say, <laughs> you will make us Cornelian cherry jam for the rest of your life. They'll do a, what do you call it? Uh, uh, breaking Bad on me. <laughs> Take me to a dungeon, a barn. <laughs> Just tie me up in chains and, you know, tell me if I didn't make Cornelian cherries, they'd kill everybody I know. Texture. The texture is really good. Right? Not bad. Okay. See? Pretty good. Color is amazing. Mm. No, no more sugar. Sugar do not required. Mm. Maybe a little bit. tempting I'm gonna add just a little bit of sugar just a little bit of sugar a 
I'm adding about a quarter of a cup, right? About a quarter of a cup. And that's it. Okay, let's give it a mix. You just have to make sure it dissolves nicely, right? And I don't want it to uh, lose any more liquid, okay? Because I like the texture. I want it. To, I don't want it to be too hard. Apologies if I'm not reading the chat, gang. Okay? Clowny, Chicho, stick them up and give me your liqueurs and dates and cheese. Yeah. And the Zoalakte. Okay, we're gonna keep this on low. I'm gonna close. I'm gonna close this guy. Boop. Right? I don't want the steam to be escaping. Uh, Shirtless guy, oh god, I actually accidentally joined in the very first, uh, very, very first Chicho test stream where he worked out how to get audio on video going. The good old days, the good old days. Salute to the good old days, gang. Very nice, very nice, very nice. That's our wind chimes going. Cheryl's out. Got the run, gang. First aid class tonight. Nice. Take care, all. Take care, Cheryl. Happy first aiding. Via's waking up south, saying, "Come on and play." We're gonna do a count. Let's see. We got we got thirty people on Twitch, and eight people on Rumble. Salute, gang. Salute uh, to Twitch. And to rumble. Free speech platforms all the way, gang. Salute, salute. Bang, bro, Cheryl. Uh, nice. I'm taking first aid on the 7th of October for, for work. Nice, nice. I've had the first aid and I had OSHA training for a week. But I haven't, I've lost my first aid years ago. Uh, I took it during uh, when I was doing geophysics. You have to learn that stuff. And it was cool. It was cool. OSHA training was... It's just bureaucracy, really. Bang Bros. I took a... I took mine sa my safety class the other day. And mines are scary. Are they? Oh, mine. In a mine. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've been down mines. Mines can be seriously scary. It can be seriously scary. Two more I can save in the mines. Really? Wow, wow, wow. Lonely Piggy. First aid is so useful. I personally think as many people as possible should have that under their belt. Yeah, agreed. 100% Lonely Piggy. Yeah. Agreed. I need to I need to get back on it. I need to learn again. Um, I still retain a little bit and my partner is a nurse, so she keeps on reminding me how to do it. <laughs> oh my god, I need to update my first aid certificate. Yeah. Got to do, got to do gang let's check it out nice this is looking good yeah this is perfect nice texture excellent okay gang we're gonna start jarring this thing we're gonna keep the lid off we need this guy i'm gonna dip this in to the hot water boiling water we have sort of disinfect it, roll it around, right? I'm gonna kick up the temperature on, on this stuff, the lids we have in double pot. I can't really move it because it's sort of, and let's put this guy here. Now, I'm gonna move these guys because we need to put these guys here. So I'm gonna move this closer. And then I'm gonna move this. 
this is our working plate. All right. I'm gonna put this guy here. Perfect. Nice. Salute, salute. Gang. I'm probably not gonna read the chat because we're gonna get into the business of doing this. Where are the, where are the kitty cats? The kitty cats go. Kitty cats are gone. That's good. Okay. Let's bring our glove out. And I need a towel here where we're gonna put the jars so they don't crack. Dish towel. So as soon as I put a, the jars here, I put this on top of them. Okay. So no breeze hits them because I got the door open back there and kitty cats are running in and out. And we need a plate for this. And we need a little, should we use just a napkin? No, we'll use a rack. A rack is good. Let's use this. We'll bring in this to again. We're not gonna get too much, too many jars out of this. I'm heating up way too many, way too many. So, let's bring them up. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna check on the kitty cats, make sure they're good. Let's do. Let's do the little guys first. Oh, there it is. Oh, we didn't get the fizzle fizzle. So we need Close the Speedy Gonzales. Okay. No. Hi, Sal. Okay. Take care of you right now, Sal. We're in the jarring business. We'll see, the little guys are harder to seal. Um, I had to do the water thing um, with uh, some of the blackberry jars, the little ones that we made. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna kick up the temperature in the oven. I'm gonna kick it up to 320. Actually, let's kick it up more. Let's kick it up to 350. I want it to be sizzling. sizzle little bit but not enough
nice color beautiful color let's take one more from the back Now we're sizzling. Nice. in here he just woke up so he wants a little munchies no can do so we're busy let's do a little guy down the temperature on there because I raised it. I like this. Apologies for not reading the chat gang. <laughs> I'll feed that we're doing. I'm just enjoying this process is fun. Very meditative, very meditative. Nice. Okay, we're gonna kick this down to 300. This especially it makes amazing gifts. If you know, they know what cornelian cherry is.
that's the scissor we want. Checking to see if there was a crack. filled up to the top a little bit too much even but that's okay nice 500 Hey Sal, here's Sal. We got a watcher. We got an audience aside from the live stream. <laughs> Let me bring these videos back up again. Let's do. Yeah, we could do one more 500. Another 500. Now, what have we got? We could do one 120 for our 250. And if we have anything left, we'll do one more 125.
don't want it to be touching the the cloth, right? You don't want contamination in there. Two fifty. And we got one more one twenty five here. Hi nice, Sal. You gotta wait. Nice. Turn this off. We're gonna turn the oven off. I should have turned off the oven earlier, actually. 125. And we're gonna do this. Very nice. Tart. Tart. So I'm gonna. There could have been even added more sugar. But we go with the tart flavor. If I pick a lot more this week or next few days, I might make another batch that's sweeter than this. But we'll try it out. So, we do this. Just scooping all that stuff up, I'm gonna put it in the plate. Okay, you guys see I'm just scraping this stuff off because this stuff is magic. It's like fruit roll-ups. Cornelian cherry fruit roll-ups. Here the Persians coming to the door. <laughs> the Persian hordes are here. <laughs> Cornelian cherry level shack. What? Look at that. Look at that. Tart. It's gotta be. Mmm, so good. Here's a little bit of foam. If you like tart, very nice. Okay, we are gonna put water in this. I'm just gonna put it in the sink and pour water on it. Here's salio. There's Sal. He is chilling down there. Very nice. This is good. This deserves a licking. <laughs> mm. Very nice. So nice and tart. Mm, what are we 
Let's put this here. So, yeah, what's the scoop? We've got a. Uh, well, this one's done. So that one's done. Is this one clean? This one's clean. Let's put it there. We can put this guy in the pot. We're going to eat this guy. Easiest uh, way to clean uh, jam stuff. You just fill your pot full of water, throw everything that's got the sticky jam stuff in it into the pot and just let it sit there for a few minutes. Well, half an hour, an hour. It just comes off so easy. So easy. To the office, uh, to the office for me. Salute Chicho and Gang. Salute Dancing Vigil. Thank you for popping in. Apologies about missing uh, all the chat gang. Adramas, how are you doing? I hope you guys are having a fan had a fantastic weekend and have a fantastic week. Start to your week anyway. Now, there you look. Oh, we don't have the camera. This will be much enough today. Look at this. It's like gooey cornelian cherry paste. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the color on that, eh? Absolutely amazing. So good, so good. Sal, what's the scoop? Hold on. I'm gonna eat some of the paste. Look at this. This is like, <laughs> like this is like fruit roll-ups, but legit, right? Like legit. Will it focus? I don't think it'll focus. Oh, there it is. Mmm. Very nice. And let's have a spoonful of this. And then I'm going to give Sal some snacks. Mmm. Very good, very good. Tart. What you need, Sal? You want a little snack? Gang, I'll be right back. Okay. What do you need? Are you doing okay? Hmm? Let's see what you got here. Yeah, 
Yes, we spoiled the crap out of the kitty cats. Give them their food and then on top sprinkle on uh, some like dental food or liver or something like this, right? Little spices, little spices. Uh, Ronnie, when was the last time, uh, is asking, when was the last time you had fast food burger? Uh, it wasn't that long ago. Uh, last month, we were really busy so we ended up having fast food i guess uh but good burgers not crap burgers and we had though yeah one of the things we indulged in last month twice <laughs> we indulged in it <laughs> or in a month period we indulged in it twice korean fried chicken it's like you know it's like a higher end version of Kentucky Fried Chicken, if you want to call it, with Korean spices and stuff. So twice we had Korean fried chicken and it really hit the spot. Like it was, it really hit the spot. We were just so busy. I wasn't into cooking something elaborate. Uh, spicy Korean fried chicken. Yeah. Yeah. Spice. Uh, we had two different styles, three different styles. One of them was just generic. It wasn't very good. But the two Korean styles was spicy fried chicken and the other one honey garlicky or honey spicy chicken. Anyway, they were really good. Super good. Like, now that I'm saying that, I'm craving it. <laughs> I might go buy some now. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. I might go get some, tell you the truth. No, that I'm saying it. I'm like, oh man, that would be fantastic. Think of someone to raid. Let's raid someone for sure. When is Scott? We gotta figure out when Scott rather is uh, streaming. Then we can raid his Twitch. Then we can raid his Twitch. This was a quick live, quick cooking live stream. This is the shortest, shortest uh, live stream, uh, cooking live stream we've ever done. Dangerous craving, lonely piggy. Dangerous craving dangerous craving right oh my god i'm off to ming's moon tomorrow in uh, birmingham uh 11.99 uh, pounds all you can eat by way 12 to 3 <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> would be cool to go uh go to uh scott stream oh it would be amazing plutonic plus i don't know he streams on tuesdays and fridays i think uh so if i figure it out get into a rhythm of it maybe we'll just do a random live stream just before he goes on get some people to come to our stream chit chat a little bit and then whoo, within an hour shoo, transfer over to scott Ritter. that would be amazing really that'd be fantastic yeah that'd be really good I'll keep it all because he schedules on our he, his streams on a regular schedule so it could be easy to set that up right sometimes they move it around though lonely piggy I'm doing a bulk right now Ooh, lots of protein so I'm feasting on a lot of uh, carbs uh, but when I get to the weight I want I'll go uh, I'll go clean again cool cool a lot of crap not carbs <laughs> a lot of crap my, why not build good fats instead of the crappy fats but hey i'm craving i'm going to seriously after the stream i'm going to korean barbecue i'm going to call him up and say get me something ready i'm going to go pick it up and come home uh and have it ready uh for my partner to eat too uh, craving it hardcore oh my god would you like uh something to drink sir just tell me where the fried rice is <laughs> This is going to the all you can eat buffet because they never make money, they make their money off the alcohol too, right? <laughs> Just tell me where the meat is. <laughs> Forget fried rice. I want the where's the meat at <laughs> and the veggies. At least you'll share it, uh, teacher. Uh, I'm gonna share it, I'll share it. for sure. For sure, I'll share. Uh, 
my partner would be like, no, not fried chicken. I go, yes, fried chicken. <laughs> Salute to Korean, for Korean fried chicken. Hilarious. It is tasty, though. It is tasty. And I can do fried chicken pretty good. I do fried chicken pretty good. But I've been cooking a lot lately. And a lot of time in the kitchen, making jams and other foods. So... Uh, we just came from a three-day awesome food fest that I just made. I made uh, some apple, pear, potatoes, uh, spices and stuff like this with the hamburger patties. Put on top two casserole dishes <laughs> made in the oven. Cooked it up for like hour and a half. Let the uh, like turmeric and different sauce. Let it all sink. It was phenomenal food. Really good food, right? Uh, just fried chicken the only thing these guys these guys have side dishes but we just get fried chicken we have the side dishes here right got to have some sides our, our side dishes are here but kimchi we, we have gotten kimchi from them before but we need to go buy a big thing of kimchi it was way more uh, affordable ch cheap like it was, it's dirt cheap like a big thing of kimchi or it used to be anyway right Lonely Piggy, there's a Chinese buffet close to my place. I might <laughs> be giving everyone junk food cravings. Hilarious. Astro Sweet, how are you doing? Apologies, I have no rumble chat going. I just realized that. Uh, can you use these fruits like uh, cranberries? Um, it looks like cranberries, but it's not. It doesn't taste like, check it out. This is what it looks like. It looks like straight up cranberries right it to a certain degree tastes like cranberries homemade chili fries tonight oh i might make some fries actually before i'll cut up the potatoes but it's not cranberries cranberries Ooh. cranberries have a different taste Uh, these could you use them as cranberries so for example um, hold on let me, let me see because I'm thinking for turkey or for ham right one of the differences these have seeds cranberries don't well they have seeds but you can it just mushes up right so if you make this as a sauce for uh, pork or with turkey you would have to get rid of the seeds right it's too dangerous to eat that way it would go good with pork for sure take a look i'm gonna double dip because this is my thing i'm gonna be eating my partner might too but it's okay with her I would say yes, but yeah, you could. Yeah, you could. On just those two spoonfuls, you get two seeds, right? You got to be careful with them. You got to be careful with it. Cheaper at the Asian super cheap, way cheaper at the Asian supermarket, the kimchi. So much cheaper. All I got cooking takes eating time. Grab fork and eat till you can. <laughs> we'll be getting a taxi with a disabled lip at the back to carry us out. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> or rolling home. Ideally, you want to be pretty close to home. At least have a walk in. Go all the way home, right? Salute, gang. gang do not forget do not forget we're having a lot of fun uh we're enjoying life doing the best we can right trying to understand the world uh and we're we're lucky right we're free to do so so in your prayers if you do such things do not forget do not forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange the publisher and journalist that has been crucified we're trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital's power to humanity something that we 
desperately need in our societies. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or countless resources available on free speech platforms. Salute gang to Julian Assange. On that note, gang, let's call the stream. Let's call the stream. Maybe strain. Yeah, Astro Sweet, you can you can mill the seeds with the miller. Uh, for sure, you can make the sauce. It would taste good. It would taste good. Okay, Astro Sweet. It would taste good. But cranberries would be easier to make. And cranberry sauce it tastes amazing. I like cranberries, right? Cranberries and... Oh, yeah, raid. What are we going to raid, Elagot? Uh, cranberries and yogurt. Oh, cranberry sauce and yogurt. So good, so good. And with sour cream. Sorry, Elagot. So good, so good. How do we pick a random channel? Pick a random channel, Elder God. Let us know. Thanks for the stream. My pleasure, Lonely Piggy. Thank you for popping in. Uh, pick one. Who do you want to raid? I, do, I like. I don't want to open up a random because I don't want the connection to be messed up, right? Uh, all of a sudden, uh, lag the lag the stream or whatnot. And last tally, we got six watchers on Rumble, and we got 21, 22 on uh, Young Girl on Beach. Sure, <laughs> done deal. 22 on Twitch. Towards the end, everyone goes, Tidy Streamer, Tidy Streamer, Tidy Streamer. <laughs> Sexy ASMR Plutonic Lord says. <laughs> so the same as now? Ah, ha, ha. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Give me a name, gang. I'm gonna copy it. That's it. That's where we're going. I baby rainbow. <laughs> Let me write this out. Oh yeah. By the way, gang, our uh, outro. We're on Patreon. Subscribe, star, Substack. We have a guild of server. You're definitely welcome to join us there. We're uh, we'll be uploading to this to Sensor Two, Bitchu, Rumble, and Odyssey. So Sensor Two friendly. We're live streaming on Twitch and Rumble and maybe soon to be intros on uh sensor tube and we'll see what other platforms we add on we do have a soundcloud page for podcasts some of the podcast audio we're on twitter minds vk gab uh parlor and uh and uh da -da 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 sub stack notes okay gang uh thank you for being here thank you for the love salute to the mods all right. She has two two point one k on. Okay, awesome. Let's go on. We do a raid. I gotta do. Hold on a second. Raid. Let's do this. Oops. Okay, gang. We're raiding. Did it work? Oops. I pressed the wrong thing. Oh man. There we go. Raid. Doink. Doink. I think this should do it. Nice. Bye, everyone. <laughs>